idea for the True Body Project comes out of my own experience. When I was a young woman, it, it, at some point it became so uncomfortable to be me in my body that I just pretty much checked out and spent the next 20 years really abusing my body. So I knew that the challenge for teens was 10 times harder than it was when I was a teenage girl. I knew that this was a project that was going to take a village for sure. So I just gathered the most exciting, interesting women I knew to help out, and that included Airely Strange, who's a wonderful poet and a playwright. She was the lead teacher, the creative writing teacher. Donna Covret, who's a great yoga teacher. She worked with the girls throughout the whole six weeks. And it included Pauletta Hansel and Young Women Writing for a Change and Kathy Y. Wilson and all kinds of other just amazing people who came to share their experience and their strength and their hope with these teenage girls. So we set up camp at the Melrose Y and each day the girls and the rest of us who were there engaged their body in some way and they did Pilates, they did yoga, salsa dancing, swimming, boxing, improv, they also learned to be an observer of the state of being girl. They learned about how the media portrays women. We went to the art museum to look at the female body in art. A young woman came to talk to us about how she was recovering from bulimia. We learned about nutrition. We learned about disordered eating. So it was this constant balance of experience, observe, and then always write. This, this is the one that's, that seems like it's closer to you because it's a much more personal mm -hmm. piece. It's a little dark, mm -hmm. but it's the intensely personal. That's where we, where, that's where we want to take you. It's a personal decision why people write. I mean, technically I can teach them how to construct a correct sentence or what's a paragraph, and that's just English 101. But what I want to do is try to celebrate the enthusiasm that I see when they're trying to when they're trying to make work. They're trying to express themselves and to not lay a lot of structure on them. Breathing. Don't forget about the breath. Well, my process was much like. Teaching, teaching it to them as to teaching it to anyone, really, with very simple exercises to um, connect the mind to the body and the spirit to the body, um, and to connect all three together. Very simple movement and exploration. The paradox of yoga is that we use the body to quiet the mind. And that's really what the journey is about, about quieting the mind so that you begin to unlock the gates to higher and wider consciousness. There you go, there you go. Sierra was really super not crazy about swimming because she was terrified. And just watching her, I mean, and that really becomes almost a metaphor for her whole experience. I tried swim classes before, but like they never told me to open my eyes. And then I was like me by myself, and it like gave me more one on one attention. And that helped more. She got into the water, she tried, she's becoming confident there. She's, she's overcome something that was a big fear for her, so that makes her take on even more challenges. She's just, and I love it because she's, um, when she smiles, she just. She just lights up the room. I just do whatever I feel, like how I feel at the moment. If I feel sad, I write about something sad. I feel happy. I write about something happy or draw something happy. And I feel different. I do something different. In my father's eyes, she was gold. She was never grounded, never caught sneaking out of the house. When she drank, she concealed her drunkenness and played Scrabble with my mom, never misspelling or slurring a word. Her boyfriends never seemed too old or too wild, but only because she disguised them at the door. No, my sister was the angel child of the family, never cheated or smoked or stole, was never suspected of being the one up to no good. No, that was always me. Man, do I wish I had my sister's stealth. 
My experience with True Body was really amazing. In the past, I haven't been like a very open person. I tend to like hide within myself, but this summer, like it's only been like a week and a half and I feel really open with everyone here. So I feel that I've grown a lot. So I drew my face as like the trunk of a tree and it's growing up like through my head. <laughs> it's just really discovering who you are, not just mentally, but also physically, like learning to be comfortable with who you are and how you are made. My hope is that I learn to trust myself, and then my fear is the opposite, that I will never learn to trust myself. Like when you look at magazines, like like the models are always like really like empty looking in their like eyes. And it's all about their body and like their boobs and their legs and everything. Never about like who they are. Claire is the most um, unpretentious. It's like she's channeling from some vast repository of brilliant women throughout the ages. She's just so incredibly talented and there's no artifice to her delivery. I think people need to know like that teenage girls have problems. Like they don't have like strong confidence and even if someone looks like they have strong confidence, like there's still problems like with body image everywhere. Like I think people just need to know that like the project can like help people, like read about it and like help people. I bet you like everyone in this project, like it helped them somehow. I think now that I have a child, I can like write more things to like really show and tell girls how hard it can be and why it's not good to do certain things and the consequences behind everything, even though everybody's situation could be different. And there's the grandbaby. This is she gets so cute. She's the cutest person in our house. She's 15, she's a mother. And she's, what's great about all the girls is the paradoxes of the girls. And Camilla is just, um, I just can't even imagine how many worlds she has to walk in. How She has to navigate so many different roles. And I'm just amazed at her grace and her beauty. I like to write about everything. Like poems, short stories, probably a lot of drama. I think every woman is secretly in love with their lips. The most softest kiss upon the smooth skin of one's love. Gracious and full. I think every woman is in love with her feet. Floating across the midnight ocean, swaying in the tears of the sky. I think every woman is secretly in love with herself. Secretly. For these past 10 days, I think it's kind of opened up a side of me that's like, just let me be completely free, like, and just the joy of it. She is taking the photographs for the True Body Project Journal. She's a beautiful writer. She's a really empathic person. You can watch her listen to the other girls and almost see her uh, ability to, she, I think she experiences the world in such a deep and intense way. I, I so badly want to like be able to get a message across to a lot of people and actually have them and to make them listen. Your body is beautiful and females are beautiful and they're strong and they're smart. It's not just, I mean, yes, but exactly that. Just, we are strong, we are beautiful and you better like it.